Hi everyone, and welcome back to episode three of The Couch. Today is a continuation on the iFi card episode that we did, episode one, a couple right. weeks back. Uh, Tim's going to get a little more in depth into uh, the application Shutter Snitch, uh, how that works, how to set it up, right. and then also how that works with uh, Instagram and Correct. some of the uploading techniques that you can yeah, do. Yeah, we're going to we're going to show a little cheat for Instagram so you can get really high quality pictures using Instagram. And uh, yeah, like you said, we're going to talk about Shutter Snitch, we're going to talk about the iFi card talking to Shutter Snitch. Should be pretty yep. good. All right. So So, let's talk about this a little bit. Um, the first thing I'll show you is on the iPad. The application is called Shutter Snitch. Now, this is $15 from the App Store, and it's only available on the iPad or, you know, the iOS. Uh, devices. So unfortunately, at least for now, there's no Android Android support for this for this uh, app. But let's go ahead and fire it up. Um, what you're going to see first in the Shutter Snitch app is collections. And what you want to do first, um, really, what you want to initially do is set up your Wi-Fi or your iFi access. And the way you do that is go to options, and it's a button that says set up iFi access. So you hit that. And this initial step does require an active internet connection on your iPad or your whatever device you're using. But once this is set up, you can actually use the direct mode, which we talked about in episode one. Right. You can do the direct mode and just talk to the iFi card. But really, it needs to just set up the actual iFi access initially. You need to do So this that. is something you definitely want to do before you're actually on location. This is one of the things. Yeah. You want to make sure it's set up before you leave. Yeah, make sure all that stuff's set up. Make sure your iFi account is set up. Make sure you've, you've tested direct mode, um, talking to your computer. Make sure all that works first before you go out you know, without an internet connection. So once that's set up, though, it's pretty easy to do. It'll actually configure a network connection on your iPad that will talk to the iFi card. So that's pretty nice. So once that's ready to roll, all you do now is set up your collections. I've already done a few here, and um, let's do a new one for today. We'll call this as a name name for a new collection. We'll call this uh, couch. Okay, create and you have a blank collection. Okay, and this is no network connection. So what I'll have Bobby do is go ahead, fire off a shot. Just shoot anything you want. Right. Okay. Okay, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And what's going to happen now is the card because you took a shot. The card activates in the camera. It will send the Wi-Fi signal to the um, the iPad. And, and this is the same process that takes place, like we explained in video one, right. between the camera and the laptop. Exactly. All right, so if we're connected to the card. You just fired off a shot, and we should see the image coming in any minute. Oh, there we go. There it is. All right, so there is a lovely shot that Bobby took. Yes. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, so go ahead and fire off a couple more shots just so we can do we can get this thing and shoot something else so we can choose, you know, it's different shots here. Yeah. Just so we can see it doing its magic. Yeah, just fire off anything you want. All right, so here they come. There we go. All right, so we have a couple more shots here. There's the camera, there's us. Look at that. Cool. And there's a shot of a light. Pretty sweet. Okay, so um, one of the really cool things about this app is that if you're on a shoot, I, I did, actually did this um, on a shoot recently, um, and you want to show the client the actual shots as you're taking them or um, after you're done taking them, and you say, all right, what shots did you like the best? This has a star system or you know a filtering system. So you could actually turn on the, the star system, the rating system, and say, all right, well, I like this shot. I give it five stars. Um, this one I give two stars and this one no stars. Once you've done that, you hit this little pin right here and you say, all right, only show me the tagged images. Okay. Yeah. So now you know when you get back, all right, the shots I should probably focus on, you know, for processing are these shots. The starred images. Yeah, right. it's pretty cool. So I can actually show you real quick. This is a shoot I did recently. Now these, some of these are starred, some of these aren't starred. And I can say, all right, we'll go ahead turn on the system, and only show me the start, the start images. So these are the shots that she thought were the best. Right, and these are starred by the customer. Yeah, the customer. This actual, she actually looked at these, this is the shot I like, this is the shot I like. So when I got back, I knew which ones I should be looking at 
you know, for her, these are senior portraits right. that I did. So pretty cool. Um, now another option you can do in here is a um, kind of a post a a action you can create. So if you're back in here, you say options, and you say actions, one of the actions you can do is uploading the pictures. This could be FTP, Facebook, Flickr. Just click on this, say edit, click on your expert location. Up here you have edit, and you have a whole list of different options okay. for that. Yeah. So you can do you can do Flickr, you can do Facebook, Dropbox, SmugMug, Zenfolio, FTP. Pretty cool. So if you wanted to FTP the images up to a client, this is this would of course require an active internet connection. But right. you could say, all right, take this whole collection, upload them to a specified location. Pretty cool. Um, another thing you can do in here that's pretty cool is um, if you want the process to be a little bit faster of actual uh, the, the actual um, pr uh, transferring of images from the card to the iPad, go back to your settings on your iPad, and there's actual settings down here for shutter snitch, you can tell it only accept JPEGs. Oh, okay. So you can shoot RAW and JPEG on the, on the um, camera. This will, you can tell it only accept the JPEG. So you can actually do like a JPEG small just for preview purposes. It's a lot faster. If you're shooting, J if you're shooting RAW and JPEG, this thing will actually bring in both, both images and it'll take quite a long time, especially on a camera like a, a full frame camera. Right. Where you're talking about 20 megs, 30 meg uh, images. Right. It takes a long time to process those and bring them in. So you probably would want to do this, turn this uh, JPEGs only on. All right. Let's go back and shutter snitch. And now there, here's a trick you can do for those of you who use Instagram. And if you want to kind of <laughs> trick people into saying, man, that guy's got some really good looking shots on Instagram. Yeah. The way you can do that, let's go in here. Let's say, uh, here's a shot. You know, something with a lot of depth of field, maybe, where you probably wouldn't get with like an iPad or, or an iPod mm -hmm. or an I iPhone. Or, or even, even a point and shoot. Yeah, something, you know, really kind of SLR looking, mm -hmm. the shot. You can say, all right, we'll take this shot. What I'd like to do actually is um, this button up here. Let me go back and see what I just did. This button up here lets you choose kind of where to put these files. So I'll say, let's, I want this file to go into my my photo roll. Okay. The, so you say, save that. Oops. You say, uh, move this to your photo album. All right. So now it's saved to your photo album. And if you're actually on your iPad or your iPod or whatever, and you um, go into Instagram, and as you know, most people who use this know, you can either choose to shoot with your camera or use an existing image on your on your device. So I can say, all right, well, go to my camera roll. Let's pick that image I just I just used. You're on Instagram. You can say, all right, well, here's a shot. Has some pretty cool depth of field going on. You know, you got some nice, you know, bokeh in the background and whatnot. Choose that. And you're on Instagram. You can start doing all your stuff. Mm, do your cool. filters. Do your, you know, your crazy Instagram filters. You can add all your stuff you want to do. Say OK. And there it is. Write a caption. Put it up. And people will start to wonder, well, how the heck did this guy yeah. get these shots? And here's another <laughs> shot I'll show you that I did. Um, let's go back. And we'll choose this shot. Now, you're not going to get this with, you know, you're not going to get long exposures uh, on a cell phone. On a cell phone. Yeah, you're, just, yeah. you're not going to get this. I mean, I'm not aware of what you're going to do this. Maybe there's an app that does it. but Maybe. Yeah. So you could do that. They choose that, and then you could upload something like that to Instagram. Right. Right. Pretty cool. Anything else about this we want to talk about? I think that uh, pretty much covers the the tablet idea. This again, th this will work on um, all iOS devices. Yeah. So if you have an iPod, an iPhone, uh, any any of those devices is going to work on. Unfortunately, there's nothing of the sh shutter snitch, at least, is not available for Android. Yeah, at least yeah. not yet. Um, the other thing, don't forget the initialized uh, setup of the iFi's in episode one. Yeah. And we'll put a link to that yeah. so you guys can go back and refer to that. Um, now, in that episode, we did show connecting to a laptop. So right. it's a little bit different. Um, yeah, different but it does go. Yeah. it does go a little more in depth into the settings. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I think uh, that pretty much covers it. Um, that's tetherless shooting with a iPad. Yeah. 
uh, Shutter Snitch, Instagram, um, getting some really cool shots with a uh, DSLR yep. and Instagram. Yep. Share with your friends. So. There you go. Alrighty, guys, that's pretty much it for episode three. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>